Hello my darlings and welcome to another chapter of The Wind in the Willows. We are down to, we've got this chapter and one more and then that's it. We will be starting a new book. So let's start. Chapter 10. Like summer tempest came his tears. Oh no. Toad ran off as fast as he could go, chased by the men from the car. He was looking back over his shoulder when splash, he ran straight into the river. Breathless and spluttering, he floated along a little way with the stream and presently he saw a big dark hole in the river bank. It was Rat's house and Rat was there to rescue him. As soon as Toad was indoors, he started boasting to Rat about his adventures. Toad, said Rat. You go upstairs and take off that old cotton rag and put on some of my clothes. Now stop swaggering and arguing. I'll have something to say to you later. Oh no! Toad has not learned at all, has he? Toad washed and changed his clothes and stood looking at himself in the mirror with pride and pleasure. Feeling much better, he went downstairs and ate a large lunch prepared by rats. When they had both finished eating, Rat told him how the stoats and the weasels had taken over Toad Hall. Oh no, Toad was that busy trying to ride and crash cars that he'd not noticed somebody's in his house. While Toad was away, Rat explained, Badger and Mole had gone to stay at Toad Hall to keep it aired. Then, one dark night, bands of weasel stoats and ferrets had attacked the house and driven Mole and Badger out into the cold. Poor Mole and Badger. I'll jolly well see about that, said Toad, grabbing a stick and marching rapidly down the road to Toad Hall. But when he got to the front gate, a yellow ferret suddenly popped out and would not let Toad in. He went back to Rat's house, he got out the boat, and he rowed up the river towards Toad Hall. All seemed peaceful and quiet, until crash! A great stone thrown from the bridge smashed through the bottom of the boat and it sank. Oh no! Uh, there we go. Those weasels do not want people in there. Not even their house, somebody else's house. Toad struggled back to tell Rat all about it, and Rat prepared a big supper for him. Just as they finished, there was a knock at the door. There was Badger. He solemnly shook Toad by the paw. This is a poor homecoming, he said. Unhappy Toad. A little while later, Mole arrived too, and they talked about the situation. Badger said, the stoats are on guard at every point. It's quite useless to think of attacking the place. They're too strong for us. Then it's all over, sobbed Toad. I shall never see my dear... Oh, excuse me. Toad Hall any more. Poor Toad. He may not be the best behaved Toad, but he doesn't deserve that. Cheer up, Toad, he cried Badger encouragingly. I'm going to tell you a secret. There is an underground passage from the river bank that leads right into the middle of Toad Hall. And there's a banquet there tomorrow night. We shall creep out quietly and sneak in. Next morning, Toad slept till late. When he did come down to breakfast, he found that Rat was collecting swords. The badger said that they all would, that, that all they would need was sticks once they got into Toad Hall. It's as well to be on the safe side, said Rat. Look. There he is with his sword. We're going to have a sword fight. Remember, this book was written a long time ago. We don't need to use weapons. Then Mole came in. He told them that he had been up to Toad Hall dressed in the old washerwoman's dress. He had spoken to the guards and told them that all the animals were going to attack Toad Hall from the outside. Oh, you silly Mole, cried Toad. You've been and spoiled everything. But Badger could see the sense in what Mole had done. Good Mole, he said. This made Toad a bit jealous, especially because he could not make out what it was that Mole had done that was so clever. 
The mole took him outside and made Toad tell him all about his adventures from beginning to end. Nice mole. And that is the end of that chapter. Our very last chapter is going to be chapter 11, The Return of Ulysses. And hopefully Toad gets his house back and maybe starts to behave a bit better. Well, I hope you enjoyed that. And I also hope you've had a very lovely Wednesday. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.